Hello, my name is JJ Leininger. And I'm Brody Dick. And today we have the Brentwood Vikings versus the Freedom Patriots here at JNC Park Stadium. Brentwood won the coin toss and elected to defer, so they will be getting it back after halftime. This should be an exciting game to watch. Should be an exciting game, and uh, there's the kick. Nice and high. It's a beautiful sunny day here. Um, the sun just over Brentwood Middle School. Um, they got a brand new school. It's uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah, very hot. One of their um, very key aspects on offense, Turner White is out this game, so um, nice to see him come and support, but we'll see how this offense does without him. I yeah, mean, Madden Shulo, the backup quarterback, will have a quite big test against these Freedom Patriots just to see if they can get the job done. And, yes, Brentwood has been undefeated this season, has not lost a game, so let's see if they can keep – their win streak going. Yeah, keep in mind, next game for them is the championship game, so that's one you definitely will not want to miss. Yep, make sure to come out on Tuesday night at 6 o'clock for the championship game. There's the snap. Ball thrown low, incomplete. And as we know, the Brentwood Vikings defense is very explosive. Tyler Beasley on that line. He is just very explosive, always getting through the offensive line, just making the quarterback very uh, uneasy and making it very hard to throw. And, of course, right, right. Brentwood has very many different aspects on defense, but Tyler Beasley is the one to look out for. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, number 76, he's definitely – He's explosive, but I'm excited to see just all the defensive players in general. I mean, these kids got some talent. I'm excited to see him snap. in high school. Oh, it's a low snap. Oh, goes for a tackle, but doesn't get him. Oh, what a tackle on the sideline. Gain and that, maybe a few. And that's Benjamin Zahner with the tackle. That was a great tackle by Benjamin. Number two for the Freedom Patriots walking off the field. Very, very upset. As you can tell, yeah. Third down for the Brentwood Viking. <laughs> Sorry. Third down for the Patriots. We had a beautiful performance by the Brentwood Powerhouse. Uh, yeah, that national anthem. That was national something. anthem was something, yeah. Looks like there's a timeout here. Delay on the field, it looks like. Uh, they'll probably get back to this. Also, another big aspect for this um, defense this year has been just the how they've played as a team. They've been really strong together, saying, uh, like I said, they're undefeated, and their defense there's a snap. is one of the reasons. Goes to running up the middle and only gets a gain of maybe three. Yeah, that was not a very good run by the uh, – Freedom Patriots, not a great start for them, but uh, we'll see if they can come back. But now the Brentwood Vikings will have a chance to get a stop here. Get a stop here. And I believe it is fourth. Nope. Yes, fourth down. Um, looks like the punting team will kick it away. Yeah, we are having some technical difficulties with our curtain. Looks like we got someone up here to help. Our curtains are kind of. Ooh, what a nice return. Oh, Taking it, it all the way for a touchdown. Touchdown, Parker Cates. Like I said, he's a very explosive player for the Brentwood offense. Recording he's many, many touchdowns. He's, um, got, he's got some legs. I mean, that yeah. kid is fast. He can really book it, and that is the touchdown for the Brentwood Vikings. First what a way to game. start. What a way to start. What a way to start. Uh, and that is to 7-0, Brentwood Vikings, Freedom Patriots. Like I said, what what a return by uh, Parker Cates. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I was looking forward to seeing that offense. But yeah, but Parker just took it all away with that. Uh, that kick return, that was that's really something. nice. That's a, that's a good way to start the game, you know. Thank you. We might have a flag on the field. I'm looking. Yes. We have a flag on the field, and the touchdown 
has been. Oh wow! No touchdown. On no the play. touchdown on the play. Never mind. All right. Yeah, there has been a flag on field. Don't know what for. Probably holding. Um, but now we get to see this Vikings offense and uh, the under uh, Madden Shulo as he uh, comes up for uh, Turner White in the snap. Number three in motion. Pitches it out. Flag on the play. And that's Benjamin Fowler running up the. Benjamin Fowler. <laughs> Sorry, Benjamin Zahner running up the field. But there's the flag on the play. Yeah, that Benjamin Zahner. He's um he's something for this offense. He's a very key aspect. Yes, especially as a very elite wide receiver with the legs and hands. Illegal shift by Brentwood. Um, That's yeah, definitely not not the start we were looking yeah, for. Yeah, we that is Brentwood want to clean up their act so they can get more yards and get that touchdown back. All right, positioning for the snap. We got Madden Chulo in the backfield. Parker Cates out to his left. Number two in motion, Parker Cates. And it's going to be a Throw. pass. Ooh. Two. Some nice gain there. Nice gain there. Don't know if it's. It, it will be barely enough for a second, for a first down, but no, it will not. They will not have the first down. I was caught by. Number 21. Nope. 22, Miles Mountain. Yeah, Miles Mountain is one explosive um, running back for this team. With his size and speed, no one can stop him. Okay, we have Madden Chulo in the backfield as quarterback. And the snap. It's a handoff. Oh, but it's a pass Ooh. to Trey Fowler. And Trey Fowler, Trey Fowler again, as we were saying, he just has that explosive wide receiver skills. And that's a nice pickup of a first down. All right, first down, Vikings. Thank you for coming to join us on Family Tailgate Night. I hope you guys all enjoy yourself and... Get some food. Yeah, get some food. We got a lot of food trucks. I see uh, the Blue Monkey. Uh, I see, w is that Whack? Whack Mo? Something like that. We got a lot of good food trucks here. Um, it's going to be a great night. Uh, nice and sunny here in Brentwood, Tennessee, and uh, it's going to be good. Here we go. First and 10 on the 45. The snap. Back to pass. Benjamin Pitches Zahner. it out. Number up seven. The, up the line. Ooh, an explosive gain for Benjamin's honor. That should be enough for a first down. Yeah, what a what a play. You know, they can just really kind of pitch the ball off and just let them run. You know, yeah. they they can just trust their receivers just to get a gain. Yeah, the Brent, Brentwood Vikings have a very good pass um, passing game. Yeah, Madden Shula's doing he's, he's doing pretty he's, good. He's holding his end right now. It's, it's going to be really. I think he realizes, you know, the pressure without Turner White. Yeah. He's just he's gotta step up and take that position. Yeah. And he's doing it right. But just a key loss for the Brentwood Vikings losing their star quarterback, Brent Matt Turner White. Hopefully he can be back. Soon. A snap. Pitches it a little bit low. And that's and that's an incomplete pass. Uh, uh intended for Parker Cates, but that hit the ground first and that is going to be second down for the Brentwood Vikings. Second and ten. We have a lot of families here tonight, so um, if you're just joining us, it's zero zero with four minutes left in the first quarter. Second down, and uh, the Brentwood Vikings are marching up the field, uh, trying to get this touchdown back. Uh, returned by Parker Cates, but a flag on the play, pushing them all the way back to thirty yard line. So here we go. All right, Madden Shula. In the backfield, in the pass. It's going to be a run. Steps oh, up. it's a fake. Oh. Looks downfield. Oh, it looks like it is And that's going to be no flag. That. That's a flag on the play. Incomplete. No. Yes, flag on the play. That is going to be pass interference on number, number two on the Freedom Patriots. And that will be a first down, I believe. Hopefully beneficial for Brentwood, for sure.
the sun starts to set and it's gonna be nice cooling off. It feels really good right now. Uh, very warm temperature. Uh, yeah. First down Vikings. First down Vikings after the flag. All right. I'm excited to see this here. We're on, we're in Freedom's territory, so. All right, here we go. Back to, back to pass. Hands it off. Hands it off. Oh, and a good gain. And that is. And that is. That's Miles Mel Melton with an explosive run there. Uh, and that'll be second down, but gained many yards on that play. Madden Chulo coming back in after getting the play. And here we go. It's second down in about uh, five yards, I think. Commentating. And Madden Chulo back to pass. Steps up. Row. Oh, oh, just oh, incomplete. Almost caught by Trey Glenn. Uh, two receivers in that area, Trey but Fowler. Trey Fowler. And <laughs> get your players right here, JJ. <laughs> My fault, Brody. Trey Glenn is part of our uh, BMS band. He's currently actually playing in our oh, band. Good for him. Good for good for Trey Glenn. But yes, that was Trey Fowler on the play. Uh, couldn't come up with that. Two receivers in that area, but couldn't come down with the throw. So that's going to be third down and six, I believe. Um, okay, Brentwood's got to get a Brentwood's got to get a first down yeah, here. Thir third down and six. Uh, crucial for Brentwood that they get a get a first down here. And Manchulo back to pass the snap. The snap. Oh, and it's going to be a flag. Flag on the and play. That's going to be on Brentwood, I believe. False start offense. That's going to march them back five yards, and they're going to have a third and 11, I believe. So that is not going to be good for the Brentwood Vikings. They're going to have to have a really explosive play on this yeah, drive. To, major setback there. To uh, get this first down, but tough for the Brentwood Vikings. If you're just joining us, welcome to JNC Park Stadium. I'm JJ Leininger. And I'm Brody Dick. We Here we have the Brentwood Vikings against the Patriots, Freedom Patriots. And there's three minutes left in the first quarter. It's a beautiful day. The sun just set behind the trees, and it is cooling off, and it's going to be a great one. Here we go. We need a big gain here. It's going to be tough for uh, the Brentwood Vikings. Parker Cates in motion. Parker Cates down Steps the field. Back. Oh, Looks and, down a field. Back. and a great and pass. And it's a great touchdown. A great pass by Madden Chulo, and that's going to be a touchdown. Brentwood Vikings. No flag on the play, I don't believe. And no, that is a touchdown. Parker Cates with the first of the game. Oh, what a touchdown. That was a beautiful pass by yes, Madden Chulo. Yes, really. I mean, he led him perfectly and everything. Parker Cates is just explosive. Explosive player. He has great hands and great legs. You kick it down the field. And now we have kicker Woodson Schimmel. All right. I'm excited to see Woodson here kick. Yeah, Woodson has been a great friend of mine. Uh, yeah. Here's a nice replay. Woodson Schimmel with the kick, with and the that's going to be good. Nice and good. And that is an extra point. Brentwood up 7-0 with a good lead. And that is a great way of teamwork right there. After an not so good flag on the play, they uh, come together and get that touchdown. And Parker Cage just shows what he can do. And Maz Shula holds his end. Yeah, it's really. I mean, I mean, with Turner being out, he's he's really stepping up here. Yeah, this is gonna be a. It's gonna be a warm day, but it should cool off a little bit. We got many fire trucks. We got Music City. We got a Whack House. No, that's I don't know what it is, but we got many, many, many uh, fire trucks. It looks like we're having technical difficulties with the curtain again. 
this, <laughs> this curtain's gonna be the death of us. Yeah, I know. Yeah, hopefully we can get this back. But uh, yeah, I right. we won't let this uh ruin our game. So we got a uh, we got a kickoff here. We got Woodson Chimmel with the kickoff. And here we go, Woodson Schimmel getting ready to kick. And that it's gonna be a oh that was that was a pretty good kick, but oh a good return. Oh man, good they got good there. field position there. That is they're that's gonna, dangerous. They're gonna be about the 52, 51 yard line, and that was a great return by number forty one of the Freedom Patriots. Um, yeah, they gotta watch out on those returns. I mean, as yeah. we saw Parker Cates earlier, even though it didn't count, but he had a he had a really good return earlier, so. Yeah, and yeah, this curtain, <laughs> man, holy cow. Yeah, we are kind of, yeah, okay. We won't worry about, we won't uh, let it affect us. It does not matter. Uh, just join us. It's 7-0, Brentwood Vikings. First down with 2.51 left in the first quarter. We have another commentator, play-by-play, -play, joining us for the second half. Abbott At Staggs. Abbott Staggs, one of our Br very own Brentwood cross-country runners. Part of the big three. Speaking of which, Brentwood cross-country is doing pretty good. Oh, and a nice sack. That was a great sack. Great Abbott. play by the defense there. And I believe that was Jaden Smalling with the sack. Ooh, number 35. Okay. Pretty explosive, uh, big guy. Can get through the line pretty easily, but that was a great play. Yeah, right. And a timeout, timeout for the Freedom Patriots. I'm going back to the fact, uh, Brentwood Cross Country has been really exposed this season. Yesterday, uh, got uh, runners up in the county championship, uh, losing by a few points to Woodland Middle, but. Uh, yeah, we had really good performances all around. Uh, right. Abbott, yeah. Stags. We definitely have a shot at state, you know. Definitely have a shot at state. We'll we'll see. Our uh, our uh, athletics here at Brentwood are really uh, really astounding. Many people want to be part of this uh, athletic club and just want to be just want to be a uh, part of the. The greatness here at Brentwood Middle. Here we go. They're back on the field back after that. Back on the field after their timeout. After that loss on the play. We got second down, uh, second and 17. All right, here they go with the snap. Hands it off. Runs up the middle and does not get much. Yeah, that's not going to be a big gain. Uh, looks like that's gonna be a third down. Ooh, third down to seventeen. Third and long. Yeah, they got a. They got a. They got a long way to go here. It's gonna be interesting. Okay. All right, third and long here. We, we got to get a stop. We fixed the current problem, and we're. We're back up. We're back up. All right, here we go. Third and long uh, for the Freedom Patriots. Brentwood's explosive defense ready to make a stop and get the offense back on the field. And here we go with the snap. Back to pass. Ooh, Pressure. It's going to be a long pass. And going downfield. Oh. Ooh, intended, re intended for number two receiver on Patriot. Just couldn't make the grab. Yeah, could not. And that's going to be a fourth down for the Brentwood Vikings. Looks uh, like they're bringing out the kicking unit. Okay, and here we go. This is so far. So far, it's been a pretty good game for pretty good Brentwood. Game. Brentwood hoping to lay on another touchdown. Maybe we can see that Parker Cates magic again if he can get a good uh, return here. Uh, maybe for a touchdown without a flag this time. But uh, yeah. Oh, I guess they're going for it. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Breaks a couple. Going downfield. And that's, that's a nice gain. I don't know if it's a first but down I yet, believe but. that's not going to be a first down. They, it was a fourth and 20, 
and I believe they did not get it. So that's going to be a turnover of possession, and Brentwood will get the ball around the 50-yard line. Good field position, if I'm sure. I think there's a flag on the play. There is a flag on the play. Looks like it's holding on the defense. So that's going to be, no, holding on the offense. So that's going to be a first down Brentwood Vikings. I'm pretty sure if I, I look again. <laughs> we got 47 seconds left in the half. Yeah, that looks like the Brentwood offense going out right now, I believe. So that's going to be hold. That's gonna be holding on the defense. Right, right. But... It's a turnover on downs. The Brentwood Vikings have the ball. Defense did a good job. Got a good amount of stops. and Looking forward to see this offense come on again. Parker hits in motion. Snap a little low. Benjamin Zahner over. Oh, and gets absolutely swallowed up by the Freedom Patriots defense. That was a great tackle by the Freedom Patriots. but uh, No gain on the play, I don't think. Maybe even a loss of gain. That might be. Looks like it's second and ten. Second and ten. No, that is a loss on the play, and Brentwood's going to have a second and 13. A second and 13. Thirteen seconds left. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get a playoff right here. Probably run it till the clock's over. Um. No, but it looks like they're going to. Oh, they're going to go for it. I'm going to try and snap, but. Yeah, three, it doesn't two, look at that. And one. that is the first quarter. Um, if you're just joining us, we have played through one quarter of play here at Jane C. Parker Stadium. It's been a great game so far. Brentwood up 7-0 after the first quarter. Um, and Looking forward to see this offense come on in the second quarter and just, yeah. It's going to be good. And now we have the Brentwood Vikings band for us. And the field is going to be switched. And it looks like we're going to have a performance by the, our Brentwood band, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. And I have been received, I've been given a water by the very own Michael Leininger of the Brentwood Middle School Vikings. It's definitely something. All right, we got second and 13 for the Brentwood Vikings. After that uh, loss of gain there, Madden Chulo, deep pass. Looking Ooh. downfield. And it's caught by Trey. No, that's Benjamin Zahner. Caught by Benjamin Zahner. What a big game. What a game. And that's going to be a first down for the Vikings. Great field position. Yeah, they're going to have great field position, putting them into success for the touchdown. Yeah, like we said earlier, without Turner White, we thought it was going to be kind of difficult for this offense to kind of get moving, but they're on it, you know. They're doing really good. Yeah. yeah there's been uh, many injuries this season. Uh, Parker Frizzell, Anderson Garrett, and Turner White. Dolan Crosby, too. Dolan Crosby's also hurt. Many injuries, but uh, this Brentwood team knows how to keep going. Madden Shula back to pass. First and ten. Hands it off. Miles Mountain trying to get a trying run, but that's gonna game, be but that's gonna be a loss of about one or two yards. Um, not what you want to see for uh, Miles Mountain's second run of the game, but uh, hopefully he's, he's a pretty explosive player, you know. Explosive player. Um, hopefully he can uh, get some more yards there. Brentwood in the huddle. 
Brentman's looking at a second and 13 after the loss of game by Miles Moe. And on the sideline, you guys probably can't see it, but that's Turner White and his crutch after uh, having surgery a couple days ago. Rehab. Hands it off to Miles Melton. Miles breaks Melton up with the middle. Oh, still on his feet. Still on his feet and is finally taken down. That's going to wow. be a good game by Miles wow. Melton. Yeah. He's such an aggressive player, you know. Once they just hand him off the ball, he's he's pretty good with it. Yeah, he has that David Goggins mindset. He just sure, always keeps sure. going. Uh, yeah. He's a great example of someone who just doesn't give up and always runs till the whistle's blown. All right, we got third and four to go. This is a crucial third down. Brentwood in the red zone. Yeah, if Brentwood could get this right here, they'd be set up for success. They're on the 12-19. Yeah, this is a crucial first down for them. They're, They're on the 19-yard line, and Matt Parker Cates back to pass. Steps back. Oh, it's going to be throw. Scrambles oh, long a bit. Throw. And oh, oh, just slipped through the hands of Benjamin Zahner. And that's no flag on the play, and that is going to be an incomplete pass intended for Benjamin Zahner. Fourth and four. Also, like we said, uh, we'll have a, it's, uh, a play by play, new play by, or sorry, new color commentator, uh, new announcer, Abbott Staggs joining us for the second half. All just right, Brentwood, fourth and four. I just like to give a shout out for uh, to Miss Shelf for putting this game on. Yeah, really, uh, this is this something, you know? Yeah. And All right, Matt and Shilo steps back to pass. Oh, and it's going to be Looks called like dead play. Looks like there's a foul on the play. Flag on the play, and it's going to be. Looks like it's holding. Holding on. Oh, oh false start. False start on the offense. Okay. <sighs> Loss of five yards. So now it's fourth and nine now. I don't know if they're going to bring out the um, kicking unit or if they're just going to go for it, but it looks like they are going to go for it, I believe. They are currently, no, that will kick them out of the red zone. And they will go for this. This is going to be a very, uh. This is a very important play. But the good news is, is if they don't get this play, it's not like they're giving up major field position. Yep. If, um, Coach John, let's see if Coach John can, uh. Make the right decision here and get no, this I think these down. boys got this. When they're when they're in a moment like this, it's you know they know how to work together as a team. Manchul slings it. Ooh. Ooh, good gain on the play. That might just get them the first down. That might that was a great pass. Uh, let him perfectly make sure the receiver wasn't in his way, and that should be a first down, I believe. And the offense is still on the field, and that's going to be a Brentwood first down. That was a beautifully designed play, and just everything just worked out perfectly on that. All right, first and ten, Brentwood in the red zone. I'm excited to see this here. I think this is definitely be something. Here's a nice replay. Yeah, what nice a nice catch. What a great catch. Beautiful throw, too. By uh, Parker Cates. What a great yeah. catch. Parker Cates is definitely the player to watch out for. He is a very explosive runner and uh, player. All right, back. steps back, pitches it. And number 21, James Scott with a great run. And that's going to be a Brentwood touchdown, I believe. And that's a touchdown. Kaysen Scott with a beautiful touchdown. Yeah, Kaysen Scott with a beautiful touchdown. First name. Just a greatly designed um, play right there. Yeah. And just nice to see that young running back really go. Yeah, Kaysen, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry. Uh, I did not realize your first name is James, so that is something new. All right, Brentwood up, 13-0. Yeah, that's going to be a great touchdown. He just he did not give up on that play. He uh, made sure he dragged his defenders into the end zone. Woodson Schimmel successful earlier on the extra point. Let's see him, let's see him work his magic here.
Nice snap. And, and it's up is, and good. And that is good. That's a good Brent kick. went up 14-0. With 4.33 remaining in the second quarter, Brentwood up 14-0. And now we have ASMR with Brody and JJ. And we're back. All right. Thank you for that wonderful moment. Um, Like we said before, uh, four minutes and 33 seconds left in the second half. Brent went up 14-0, so things are looking pretty good. But that loss, that last offensive drive was really good. How they made that fourth down, it's crucial. And we're going to see a kick here by Brentwood kicking it away after uh, being up 14-0. Yeah, it's going to be a – can be good. This is the second quarter. We're having some technical difficulties with our uh, um, TV monitor right here. It is, it's the second quarter, not the third. Uh, sorry for that miscommunication. We'll get right to it. Uh, the people downstairs. Uh, you know, they know what they're doing. They're, 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 they're experts. Yeah, yeah, at they're, this. they're experts at this. So let's uh, let's hope they fix that. I'm pretty sure Campbell Willie is on graphics. Yeah, that's that's definitely something, you know. Yeah, Cam that Campbell Willie, great runner. Uh. <laughs> I and the make some noise here for Brentwood. Yeah, here we go. Looking for their defense to get a stop. Um, the other team doesn't have too good a field position. All right, looks like there's a time out. I think it's a time out on freedom. First and ten. It's just waiting for this timeout. Brentwood with a great start so far. Four minutes, 25 seconds left in the half. All right, looks like they're back on the field. After this timeout, uh, hopefully the Brentwood defense can get a stop. Yeah, looking forward to see this defense kind of kind of go into action here. They, they made a good stop um, last drive, but we have Abbott Staggs here joining us for the second half. Look forward for that. And it's going to be a pass up. Going and up, it's gonna be and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Benjamin Zahner. Benjamin Zahner down the line. Oh, and he's going to boom. Oh, my goodness. That was a what oh. a play by the defense. And that was an incredible hit. That was, holy cow. Let's, yeah, that was great interception and great I think game that was. There. I think that was Tolly. Oh, my fault, no. No, that is, uh, that's uh, Benjamin Zahner. Very explosive defense player. <sighs> Yeah, that was a great hit. What? Yeah, that was some. That was something. That was something. Yeah. All right, Brentwood now with great field position. Before they start this drive, I'd just like to take a moment to recognize uh, uh, Brentwood Cross Country, the the big three. Um, Abbott, Staggs, Byram, and uh, Charlie Brinkley. Yeah. He's a one runner. Oh, and Miles right. Melton. Speaking of hands runner, it, oh, hands it off. Oof. Doesn't give up, and he has a pretty good game there. Oh, he's still going. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. And that's gonna be a fumble. That's gonna be a fumble for Brentwood. And that, oh my gosh. And that, that is not. Is not, what you not see. Yeah, I mean, right after you come off an interception, then you go to a fumble. That is just. And the Freedom Not Patriots good. have the ball with a good return. 
Man. Yeah, that's not what you want to see there, but. It's disappointing for sure, but there's not much you can do about it. Brentwood's still up 14-0. Four minutes left in the half. One by one, boom goes the dynamite. That is a uh, back-to-back defensive plays for both defenses. Um, let's see if boom goes the dynamite for sure. All right, Freedom has the ball at the 50-yard line. They run it. That's going to be a – they put in some subs, and now we have free <laughs> – Clock running. <laughs> All right, looks like it's second and eight. <laughs> Three minutes and 19 <laughs> seconds left in the half. Looks like they call a timeout. Looks like we have Owen and Will going down as the water boys. And Parker Frizzell there. Uh, we have uh, Turner White on the, your right. On the sideline, yeah, number two. He's um he's an important part of this offense, like we've mentioned before. But Oh, yeah, as we mentioned before, Tyler Beasley. Um, We're but looking forward to seeing him on defense he's tonight. A very explosive player. Don't think he's gotten in yet, but uh, Coach we're looking, John. We're looking forward to seeing him for sure. Look forward to seeing him. All right, um, looks like it's second and eight on the 48-yard line. Three minutes, 19 left in the half. We got Freedom with the ball. Haven't done much on offense this game. Uh, after that uh, fumble, they're going to run it. Oh, oh my and goodness. what a good tackle for a loss of yards. Potentially good loss of yards, potentially five. And that's going to be... We're looking at um, that's gonna be John Sharp. On third the play. and twelve, with about three minutes left in the half. Yeah, John Sharp with the tackle. That was a great tackle. Here's a nice replay of what happened. Ooh, yeah, that was a great tackle. Tripped Just him up there, right through the line, and got the loss of the like, loss of the play. <laughs> All right, um, we're looking at third and 12, two minutes and 30 seconds left in the half. If you're just joining us, welcome to Jane C. Parker Stadium. Uh, With the snap, oh, pitches it out to number three. To number three up the line doesn't get much, and that's going to be a fourth down. Oh, is the ball out? the ball is not out. It's going to be a down, um, and that's going to be fourth down for the Brentwood. It's a nice stop by Brentwood defense there. I'd like to give it a nice shout out to Everett Hammond. He's been a bit quiet this game, but usually he's uh he's pretty crucial. Yeah. Looking forward to see him later this game if they're blowing them out. Hopefully Coach John will put him in. It's a nice replay of what happened there. Yeah, that looked is. like it was almost a fumble, but no, not quite. We're looking at uh looking at two minutes and thirteen seconds left in the half. All right, here we go. After the timeout, back on the field. Brentwood, this game, very explosive defense, been really good, and their offense has come up clutch on both touchdowns after third downs. Here
Here we go. Freedom. With the snap. Hands it off. And not much of a gain there. Looks like it's going to be fourth down. Everett with the tackle. Everett Hammond. Yeah, Everett Hammond. That was an explosive tackle. Getting through yeah, the that's, line. Yeah, that's, you know, that's really important for a third down play, for a third down stop. Everett Hammond, you know. He, uh. Tyler Beasley looks like he's in right now. Yeah, that Tyler Beasley, some kind of guy. Something you got to watch out for. Number Tyler Beasley, 76. Um, number Tyler, Be Tyler Beasley, number 76, offensive tackle. Okay, here Brentwood we go. with the ball at around the 45. Five. Back to pass. with the snap. That's gonna Swings be a it. Dump off to and Benjamin Zoner. Ooh, Zoner with, Ooh, with a, a nice gain. gain. That's gonna be a gain of about eight, and that's a great game by Benjamin Zoner. Yeah, Tyler Beasley a bit quiet on the play. It's gonna be uh, second and three. The sun is fully set behind the trees now, and the lights are on. Manny Slow stepping back. Looking downfield, oh, and, and Winston Schimmel does not come up with the catch, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very sure that was <laughs> Winston Schimmel there, JJ, but. All right, Brentwood looking at a um, third down and three. Both touchdowns this uh, game have been on third downs for Brentwood, so we're going to see if they can get another one here. Yeah, we're looking for a nice third down even, you know. Let's see if they can uh, come up with the first down. <laughs> uh, we have about a minute 30 seconds left in the second half. Wow, time is flying by. All right, with the snap, Madden Shulo steps back. And that's going to be. Looks downfield. Oh, and oh. just overthrows him. And, and no flag on the play. <laughs> Fourth and three. And that is going to be an incomplete pass. Intended for number 24, Woodson Schimmel. All right, fourth and three. Looks like they're going to kick it off. And. No, looks like the offense oh, is gonna going to stay on the field. A little risky, but uh, again, there is a minute 30 seconds left. Matt yeah, Shula. not a whole lot of time left. But Brentwood's up, and that's all that matters. And we also do get the ball. <laughs> we do get the ball at the um, at after halftime, looks so like that's also important. Looks like this is going to be a screen pass. Pass to Parker Cates. Oh, and he dropped it. Oh, that is oh. tough. Parker Cates with a crucial catch they needed for the first down. Um, but now, it's this is gonna be. Man, that is disappointing. That is gonna be Freedom's ball. That is that's tough. Yeah. And Tyler Beasley has been subbed out. Very uh, not so good uh, call by coach, but uh, it's okay. Yeah, Parker Cates. That's that's definitely upsetting, you know, but. Like I said, Brentwood gets the ball after halftime here, so that's also very important to look at. Yeah, it'd be great if Brentwood could get a stop or maybe even an interception. An interception here and then a touchdown. Going yeah. into the second half would be going amazing. up 21-0 would be very nice, but 14-0 is not a bad lead. Freedom With back the to snap, pass. a bit high. It's gonna be a run, but goes ooh. to run. Ooh, looks like a loss of yards. Oh, but Ooh, he's, he's still honest. up. He's still. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, he breaks free. He's break. He breaks free of three tackles. Runs it all the way down oh. into Brentwood's territory. And that was an explosive run by number two on the Freedom Patriots. And that was a very explosive run. Holy cow! No, it's not. All right, looks like they're down run. there at the 11-yard line. We also have a little, uh, man, if Brentwood could get a stop here, yeah, that'd that be would be that would be very, very good for them. But be very after helpful. that, that would, uh, after that explosive run, Brentwood is. Well, under a minute left in the half. We'll see here. Yeah, this we'll might just play out well for Brentwood, but. 
We'll see. Those kind of plays cannot be let by. It's going to be a run, but they hand it off again. But he is going to be team not tackled able to by break the tackle. He's going to be team tackled by 79. Yeah, it's 79 and 10 with the team tackle. All right, um, 30 seconds left in the half. Here's a nice replay of what just happened. Great teamwork there by uh, the Brentwood Vikings. Getting that tackle, that's going to be uh, crucial for them because time is still going seconds. down. 20 seconds. Oh, and he dropped. just drops that. And the ball is loose, but I think freedom recovered. Pos possession freedom. But that. Uh, only 14 seconds left in the half. Climb I don't know. Clock has stopped. Uh, Freedom's going to get about two to three more plays. Looks like it's second and 15. Clock yeah. running. Yeah, if they so the clock is running and this is gonna go keep going down six five they cannot get a playoff Three, and two, that's gonna be halftime and that's the half thank you guys for joining us I'm Brody Dick and I'm JJ Leininger and, that's the end of the half. and we'll see you in the second half Vikings 14 Patriots zero. Yeah, our uh, our uh, graphics down here. Uh, that is not is white rookies. Is uh, fourteen zero, um, and we'll be back after the half. Thank, Thank you, you guys for watching. All right, so here we have the second half, and we have a uh, Tyler Beasley is subbed into the game. Tyler Beasley, man, that Tyler Beasley is something else. He is such an explosive defensive player or offensive player. He uh, great at holding the uh, his own on the line. Uh, good to see him now, and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a run for gain about five yards, and that's gonna be second and five. Yeah, it's gonna be number. Tw it's gonna be number twenty nine. James Scott. No, that's gonna be Kaysen Scott. Okay, he goes by Kaysen. He goes by Kaysen. And also, uh, James Sharp is not, I said James, it is uh, Jay. Jay, I'm sorry. As uh, my brother, nope, you're not my brother, but, like, I'm JJ and you're Jay. Okay. Back into the game, and we have a second down and seven for the Brentwood Vikings. Toss and it's going to a run. By Kaysen. Oh, my goodness. He explosive play down to the 29-yard line. Yeah, that's going to be a great run by Kaysen. Very explosive player. First and 10 from the 29. <laughs> that's going to be a first down. As we see this replay, Kaysen, it's going to be a – Gonna be a pass out to Kaysen, and what a great run for the first down. Oh, oh, yeah, great uh, electronics and stuff. Madden will take the snap, hand it off to Miles, Miles Mel Melton with an explosive run, getting uh, about six yards on the play. It's gonna be a great run, maybe even five. Don't really know, but uh, if you're just joining us, we are two minutes into the third quarter. Here at JNC Parker Stadium. 14-0 Vikings over the Freedom Patriots. Like I uh, said in the first half, um, tonight is family tailgate night for uh, the Brentwood Vikings. And that's going to be an explosive Oh, Matanchulo. Quarterback keeper. Quarterback keeper gets the run, and that is a great run by Matanchulo. And uh, Brody Dick is going to take over me for a little while while I uh, eat because I have not had dinner. JJ. Thank you, JJ Leininger. It feels good to be back. Tyler Beasley currently in the game right now. That's exciting. These young players, I'm excited to watch in high school. JJ dealing with some woman issues. Uh, classic JJ. 
Calls for motion. Parker Cates. Looks like Takes we got a snap. third and one. Matt and Chilo scrambling. Looking Slings down it downfield. It is caught by Benjamin Zahner. What a nice completion. That'll be a move the chains. It'll be a first down. Brentwood in the red zone. First and goal. Tyler Beasley with really good protection on that play. Really allowing it to develop. What a grab by Benjamin Zahner. I mean, you got to give that to him. And a wonderful throw by Madden. Shoot low. Here we go. First down and ten. Toss to James Scott. Oh, no, it's Cason Scott. Looks like a nice couple of yards pickup. Maybe three. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got a second down and nine. Three minutes and 45 seconds left to play in the third quarter. All right, let's see. Second and nine here. Taking a snap. Touchdown! Touchdown, Brentwood. Touchdown. Number three. Boom goes the dynamite. Parker Cates, boom goes the dynamite. Parker Cates with probably his 100th touchdown of the season. Something like that. I mean, this that man is, is explosive. Fire. And here's a nice replay. Woodson Schimmel, the kicker. Woodson's been pretty accurate tonight. He's made two extra points. It looks up and good. He's got his third tonight. Man, Woodson Schimmel on fire. Wish we had him back in cross country, but he seems pretty successful here. Yeah, he does, but... They at least do have Herbert Staggs, Brody Dick, and J.J. Leininger all on the team. That is very true. And you can't forget, Charlie Brinkley has been making a wonderful appearance. He's part appearance. of the big three of Abbott Staggs, Andrew Byram, and Charlie Brinkley. What the glaze. All right, it's going to be um, the Patriots' ball after the kickoff here. We'll see how good they do on this return. They've had some pretty good returns in the past here, but... Hopefully Brentwood can get a nice stop. Yeah, if they want to get back in this game, they're going to need to move the ball and really move the ball. Very true, very true. Potentially having Tyler Beasley on um, this defensive team might, um, might, might just give him the edge. Yeah, right. The edge for sure. Woodson Schimmel to kick this one off. Patriots ball after this. If you haven't already, please enjoy some of those wonderful food trucks we got here at the tailgate night. Woodson Shimo with the kick. It's up and high. Going down to... Oh, oh, and it's muffed. Looks like two of them try to catch it at the same time. Breaking some tackles. Oh, he might have the edge here. Wow. All the way down the Running side. Cuts it back. Number three. Oh. All the way downfield. And, and he might go all the way to the house. Boom goes wow. the dynamite. Boom goes the dynamite for I wish sure. I'd be saying that for the Vikings, but really good play there for the Ooh. Patriots. Well, it looks like we got 6-21 to 21 here. First touchdown of the night from the Patriots off of a kick return. They've had they've had really good success on this um, on this return game today. Yeah, the return team uh, for the Vikings are really going to have to run for practice after this. They have not been playing well. Championship is very near, so hopefully Brentwood will be able to keep their um, – Undefeated record here, but it's going to be, let's see. I mean, they, they got a good lead, that's for sure. Going for two here. Well, that's an interesting play. That's not something you're going to see. They probably do not have a good kicker. That's what they're doing. Throws it, and it's incomplete. Okay. 
Well, it'll still say six to twenty-one. Vikings on top. Okay, now the um, the Patriots are going to kick it off to Brentwood. Hopefully we can have as much success um, on the kickoff as they did, but we'll see. Yeah, to have some kickoff success, they might want to put Tyler Beasley in there. Or Everett Hammond, for that matter. Both of them are very good blockers and are crucial. Or maybe a Skell Wegner. He's a really good player. Skell Wegner, he's, um, he's really something to watch out for. He's That's something. He's a beast. Now... Let's talk about Matt and Shulo tonight. I mean, without Turner White, he's he's been doing pretty acceptable. He's been able to roll out of the pocket and deliver some dimes. He can get some dots under pressure. Yeah, especially he also does have some really good pass protection uh, from Everett Hammond, Hagen Johnson, Law Wiley, and don't forget the man himself, Tyler Beasley. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but hopefully on defense again, we can see another sack from Jaden, but – or Everett Hammond. Or Everett. Yeah, even Everett. All right, we need to quit the plays. Well, there's just lots of really good players on this Brentwood team. I just can't stop talking about them. I can't wait to see the, them mature and go to high school. Returned by Parker Cates. Parker Cates using his athleticism. Oh. Trying to run the ball and just gets tackled down there by the 40-yard line. Really good field position for the Vikings here. Vikings first and 10 up at the 41-yard line. I'm excited to see this offense play. Especially after the way Madden has been playing so far. I'd like to see another drive from him. For sure, for sure. Tyler Beasley. New Tyler Beasley is in on the play. I'm excited to see that young player, you know. All right, with a nice snap. Quick pass. Ooh, and it's dropped by Miles Melton. Ooh. He's a very, very good running back. Just couldn't really come down with the catch there. Oh. So it'll be second and 10 from the 42-yard line. 21 to 6 Vikings, 2 minutes and 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Excited to see how this plays out. They've been they've been very good with their third down plays. They can really work together as a team and kind of Oh, and Kaysen in the backfield. He'll take it. Kaysen oh, Scott using his speed. Kaysen Scott dodging some tackles and getting up there about the 47-yard line, a 5-yard gain. It'll be gain, not gain. Gain. It'll be a third and five from the 47-yard line. All right, sadly, folks, I got to hop off. This is Brody Dick getting off, J.J. Leininger getting on. And uh, I'm back. Folks, uh, it's a little hungry there. And that's going to be, ooh, pass intended for Parker Cates. Not going to come up with it. Just a little over his head there. Could have placed the ball better. Sorry, folks. We've okay, so it'll be fourth down. We've got a lot of fans here uh, really hoping to get on this action of commentating. We've got a fourth down for the Brentwood Vikings. Let's see if they can uh, come up with that. Big thanks to Ms. Schof for putting this together, allowing us to commentate. I very much appreciate that. And that's going to be a Oh, and it's dropped by Benjamin. He's had a really good game so far. Yeah, not what you want to see by uh, Benjamin Zahner there, uh, but it's going to be a turnover on downs, and it's going to be Patriots ball with good field position. Mm. 
Okay, we have had word that they're called the Freedom Stars, actually, not the Patriots, the Freedom Stars. Yeah, I'll, I'll just call them the Stars from now on. Yeah, we'll try not to make that mistake again. Sorry, Freedom Stars. Yeah, we have a horrible AMS Oh my problem. goodness, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> that is, that, there are so many ants. Uh, number 11 takes it in the backfield, cuts it back, and he's not going to get anything. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. The stout Vikings defense coming up with the amazing stop on that play. Just like how the ants are stopping all the sugar up here. For real. For real. Oh, oh. Now time for some ASMR. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of ants. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> we have an ant problem up here. Yeah. Uh, we need to call Campbell Willie up here to uh, exterminate these ants. Hey, Campbell Willie, if you could get a second, please. And that's uh, snap. Oh, oh, and he's sacked. Sacked. Boom goes the dynamite. Boom. Vikings yet again. Boom. Number four and 35 on the play. Boom, boom, boom. Jaden. That's Jaden Smallin with the sack. Also, Harper Allen on the sack. Harper Allen and Jaden. Really great play. Getting the team sack there, and what a play. Holy cow. That was that was. Something else. Hey, but really good sportsmanship there by Jaden, helping the QB up. That's what we like to see from our Vikings. ASMR. And we're back. <laughs> number, s <laughs> number seven. Uh, Number seven. Oh, and it's going to be a oh. last lap. And oh, my oh, goodness. And that's going to be a big loss for freedom. But not what you want to see there. But Very unfortunate play there. Yeah, but uh, good thing Brentwood was there to get that, uh, get him down. Man, freedom cannot, can like, they just can't catch a break on offense. They need to move the ball. Okay, the ants have really moved in here. Yeah, they are. Uh... Yeah, ants are moving it like the Bruin offense is. Yeah, a lot of ants. A lot of ants. But also, Bruin Vikings cross country led by Mr. Peak. Coach Peak is such an amazing man, Christian man. Just loves God and loves his uh loves his uh loves his team, his loves runners. His team and his Abbott runners. Staggs, JJ Leininger, Brody Dick. Some of the amazing yeah. runners on that team, <laughs> especially Abbott Staggs. Uh, it appears we have some technical difficulties saying that it is overtime right now. ASMR. Eight minutes left here in the fourth quarter. We're going to start it up here. Uh. Okay. Oh, it's tipped up. Oh, and intercepted. And it's going to be. Nolan Crosby, pick six. And he. Great oh, but play there, there is a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. I'm going to hand this over to Brody Dick. He's going to be with you guys for a little while. Amazing play there by Nolan Crosby. Brody, what do you have to say about that? I mean, that was just perfectly designed, perfect pick. Um, I'm curious to wonder what the flag was. Here's a nice replay. Just going in there, tipping it up. Catching tipping it. it up, catching it himself. And nice. Taking that thing all the way. That was just a beautiful play. Still curious on what the flag is. 
Yeah, I don't I don't know why. It looks like they I got him back I believe it's Brentwood's there. bald. They're just backed up. Man, that is it's upsetting. I mean, Nolan Crosby, that would have been that would have been something to watch there, but Oh, I see Tragen Hadley number eighty seven in the play right now. Yeah, that's a player that we haven't really talked about much and he he really deserves to be talked about. Tragen Hadley is great player. Definitely, definitely. If you're just joining us here today, I'm Brody Dick and this is Abbott Staggs. Um, thank you for joining us here at the tailgate night. And we're at um fourth quarter, seven minutes fifty three. Miles Melton taking it down the side. Ooh, Miles Melton. And he'll Melton be tackled with a nice gain. Second and seven, seven for four the Brentwood minutes, Vikings. Seven minutes and 24 seconds left to go. <laughs> All right, um, here we go. Kaysen in the backfield for the Vikings. Here we go with the snap. Matt Toss Chilo to him. Pitches it out to Case and Scott. Give him a start nice step cut back. Run. I believe that'll be a first down Vikings. That was a nice run there. All right, Vikings first down. Just what they need. They're in the red zone. About to be up. Okay, so currently at the about the 15 yard line, handed off to handed Parker off. Cates, Parker and he'll Cates. take that all the way down Parker to the three yard Cates line. With his just great play there, athleticism is he's got fast legs. He really does. Nice first down, Brentwood in the red zone. Madden and Miles currently getting the play call. And they'll sub out Kaysen for Miles. Man, Kaysen has had an amazing second half. He really has. He's used his athleticism to really cook those defenders and take it downfield. He's a cookster. He really is. Great player. Phenomenal. Oh, I see Tyler Beasley in there, number 76. Okay. The right tackle. I'm excited to see a nice play out of Tyler. Oh. And off. Miles Melton. Oh, and he'll be pushed all the way down. Is that a touchdown? I think he might be just at the one-yard line. Oh, they'll signal him right there. Ah. Second and inches there. Man, Brentwood has got to get this. It appears to be first and one. If I'm the coach, I'm just going to say muscle that thing in there with Miles Melton. I agree. Or or Kaysen Scott. I mean, Yeah, he's been playing really well. But I think they're going to hand this thing off to Miles because he's currently in the game, Brody. Correct. Tyler Beasley, number 76. And Tragen Hadley, number 87, sealing that off. Oh, Hand it off, and he'll muscle his way in there. Touchdown Vikings. Boom goes the dynamite. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite indeed, Brody. Boom. Thank you, JJ. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, JJ Leininger. Tyler yeah. Beasley with the good sportsmanship there. That's what you like to see from our Vikings. Here's a nice replay. Just really pushing it in there. Good job by Miles. For sure, Miles Melton is definitely, definitely a player to watch out for. He really is. Now we got Woodson Schimmel with his fourth field goal of the night. He's been super accurate tonight. Extra point, my fault. Snap is good. Oh, and it's blocked. Oh, good play by the Freedom Stars. 
Yeah, what a block. So the score will be 27 to 6 with about 5 minutes and 11 seconds left in the fourth. Let's check this quarter. replay out. Yeah, it's blocked. Yeah, that is that's just good defense right there. It truly is. 5-11 left in the fourth. What's in Schimmel to kick this one off to the Freedom Stars? Let's see if the Vikings the Vikings can hold off on this kickoff. Keep the Patriots out of the end zone. Excuse me, stars. Yeah, I mean, the Patriots have had just an amazing night with kickoffs. Uh, Freedom Stars. Freedom Stars have had just an amazing night with kickoffs. Um, hopefully we can get a nice stop, not let them have too great a field position. But, yeah, we really got to watch out for that number three. on. Free, yeah, on that's free. really been the weakness of this Vikings team so far. Here we go. What's in Schimmel to kick it off? Really good kick. Yeah, nice and Return by number eight. Number eight. Cuts it back. Ooh. Oh, and he's wrapped up. Looks like he's going to be Taking down, down at, at the 20-yard line. Okay, that gives that gives Brentwood um, a nice advantage. They weren't able to get a lot on that kickoff. So, now let's let the defense take over. Just like how these ants are taking over our setup up here. Correct, yeah. Nice tackle by number 20 on Brentwood. Jay. Looks like Jay's going to sub out. I see Everett Hammond in there, number 81. I'm excited to see what he's got here on defense for us with the snap. Ooh, and number off. 31 on the play, Truman Brown. Nice tackle. It'll be second and 12 in this fourth second quarter. Second long, okay. Clock still running. Second and long, the Patriots offense. Hands Hand it, it off. off. Cuts it back, and he's eight. still got a lane. Well, he's taken down. It was a nice gain. We're about the 24 yard line. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed me commentating, and have a good rest of your night. I'm going to hand this off to J.J. Leininger. Yeah, what a great man, Brody. Uh, thanks for commentating this game. I'll, I'll take it from here. Um, and uh, if you're just joining us, we're from the JNC Parker Stadium. It's currently 27-6 to Vikings over the Freedom Stars. Uh, it's a timeout by Brentwood. Coach John wants to talk the play over with the uh, with the the team. Vikings. Uh, Brentwood coming out uh, after the timeout. We're going to put some more on this uh, Freedom Stars team in the last 342, uh, or sorry, my fault, three minutes and 42 seconds. And the Freedom Stars have not been getting a lot on offense. We're going to... The stout Vikings defense will hand it off, taking it on the outside. 
Cuts back. Ooh, and that's going to be a good cut. Good gain. That, Cutting oh, back again. Going. And he'll be wrapped up by number 81, Ever Hammond, wrestling him to the ground. Yeah, number 81 with a great uh, tackle. Ever Hammond, such a great guy. Uh, very great work discipline. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he truly is such a great guy. Check out the guy. replay here. Everett Hammond on the play. Great tackle, Coming in too. all the way from the offensive line and just slamming him to the ground. Yeah, pancake. Great absolute, awareness there. Absolute muscle of a man. It'll be fourth and one for the Freedom Stars. Three minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. Uh, Burnham Vikings up 27-6. Let's we'll see if the Freedom Stars can get anything going on offense. Nothing so far. Uh, looks like some miscommunication with the Freedom Stars. See Landon Gallimore there lining up with a defensive line. <laughs> so, yeah, tonight. Everett Hammond with some really good plays out there. I just can't stop talking about Everett Hammond. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be a timeout by Coach John, I believe. Yeah, Coach John's going to take this uh, timeout to – Go over uh, the play to stop this defense one last time and hopefully run the clock down, and that will be game over. Okay, have their timeout. Browns defense ready to go. And it'll punt. And it'll be punted away, and it'll be caught. Trey Fowler will take Fowler. that one out of bounds. Pretty good uh, field uh, gain right there. They'll be uh, around the 45, I believe. And uh, hope, hopefully this will be the last time we see this Brentwood offense um, so they can take this all the way home. Um, and uh, remain undefeated to the season. Not a great kick, but uh, good return. Good return by uh, Brentwood. Just like to give a shout out to number 88, Karan Kumar. He's just, he's, he's such a great guy. Um, he brings the energy to the team. Brings the energy to the team, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Brentwood on offense. Oh, around the 50-yard line. I'm mistaken. Looks like they put in the backup, number 36. I do not know who that is. Oh, oh but Major Anding caught it. Oh, and He'll he's going to take that down the sideline. Down the about the 12-yard line. Yeah, what a great catch and run by uh, Major Anding. Another key as, uh, aspect to the team. Um, Great uh, hands and uh, just great feet and getting that great uh, play right there. I was assuming they'd run the ball, try and take the clock down, but a throw there really catches the Stars off guard. Yeah, they have changed their quarterback. The Brentwood Vikings have changed their quarterback. They, um, yeah, Knox Duncan. Uh, Nurse Duncan's son, actually. Uh, he is in for quarterback right now. Um, felt like Madden Shulo had a great game and uh, <laughs> and uh, had such a great game um, uh, with uh, um and that it's gonna be a pass complete to. Case and Scott, but it's going to be a loss in the play. Um, Brentwood has had a really good game so far. Such a great team there. Um, number 87, Trigan Hadley on the line. Such a great guy. Um, <laughs> um, Trigan Hadley, just a beast. Absolute beast on the line, just to make sure that quarterback is nice and safe. Um, Don't forget Tyler Beasley. Yeah, Tyler, sure. <laughs> Tyler Beasley. We Such a great guy. We haven't talked about him enough. He's just an absolute dominator on that line. He is currently not in, but 
uh, hopefully they can get him in. All right, Casey here we Scott go. in the backfield. It'll be a toss to him. Knocks Duncan. Toss to Casey Scott. Breaks a Casey tackle. Breaks, breaks around the outside. And, and he'll and get in the that's end. That's going to be a touchdown. Brentwood. Boom goes the dynamite. Brentwood Vikings with the touchdown. <laughs> and that is a touchdown by Casey Scott, his second of the game. And that is a touchdown. Boom goes the dynamite. Yeah, what a great uh, – what a great play by Casey Scott, breaking that tackle and then just running it home. He's just a great guy. He's such a great guy. <laughs> yeah, um, Casey Scott, such a great, such great hands, such a great runner, so explosive. When he gets that ball, got lots of speed on him. Lots of speed. The only thing you can see behind Going him. Going for two here. Yeah. A little risky uh, in the end QB of the game. keeper. And Knox will – I believe he stopped short. No good. No good. But uh, Brown has a reasonably big lead, 33-6, to six, with a, about a minute, 20 seconds left in the game, and they should take this home. Great showing from the Vikings here on the yeah. tailgate night. Yeah, defense has been coming clutch, just absolutely taking uh, – making sure the Patriots just – just offense – not get going. Same. Yeah, come on, Cody. Okay. <laughs> okay. And we have Woodson Schimmel to kick this one off. Yeah, Woodson has had a pretty good game. Three out of four extra points have been good. One uh, blocked extra point. Um, uh, pretty good uh, kicks from him all around. Uh, absolute uh, has a giant boot for a leg. Um, yeah, but that's gonna be a uh, number forty, Cassius Gardenhire uh, over there. Get oh, I see Karan in there. Yeah, Karan is in the Lined game. Lined up on special teams. And that's gonna be kick it away. Great kick by number eight Schimmel. with the return for the Stars. Breaks a tackle, and he's gonna and be taken out of bounds near the 30-yard line. Yeah, Brentwood's going to take it home here. Uh, just great showing. Offense got going in this game. Um, great touchdowns. Uh, great way to bounce back. Many third-down touchdowns. Um, defense has been uh, just held the stars to about, like, nothing. They've had uh, about six points, um, and uh, they just – this defense is so explosive with members like Hagan Johnson, Tyler Beasley. Everett Nolan Hammond. Crosby. Yeah, Nor Nolan Crosby with a pick six earlier this game. And uh, Karan Kumar, Trigan Hadley, and many different uh, aspects of this uh, defense that just make it a whole defense. Hang and off to 32. Stop. It'll be and stopped. That's going uh, to be 60. 61 on the play. 61 on the play, and that's going to be Estelle Wagner with the tackle. Great tackle by Estelle. <laughs> so we got a 40. <laughs> Uh, 40 seconds left here, and uh, this Brentwood uh, clock team, is still running though. This Brentwood team is gonna go undefeated this season. Absolute great showing. Uh, they got the championship game on Tuesday at six o'clock. Uh, location we do not know, but uh, be sure to go to that game. That's gonna be a support great support the game. Brentwood Vikings. And uh, this has been tailgate night. Uh, it's been a great night. A lot of people have come out to this game. Spirit Week here. Fumble on the play. And that's going to be an incomplete pass. And that cl uh, the clock's going to wind down. Seven, five seconds left. Three, two, two one. one. And that's going to be it. That's going to be ball game for the Brentwood Vikings. Great showing from them today. Well, I'm JJ Leininger. I'm Abbott Staggs. And the, your Brentwood Vikings won 36-6 here at JNC Parker Stadium. We'll see you next time on...
Channel 9, Brentwood High School News. Thank you for watching.